Gender-based violence and femicide is described as one of the worst scourges facing South Africa's constitutional democracy. According to the Commission for Gender Equality's 2024 index report, South Africa recorded 2,407 cases of femicide in 2017, with 1,033 of these being intimate partner femicide. In 2018, the Palm Ridge mother's life changed for good when another domestic violence incident rocked their home and ended with the death of her partner. Centre for Applied Legal Studies, Head of Gender Justice, Dr. Sheena Swimmer, elaborates. On that day, there had already been violence against the individual, the Palm Ridge mother, by her partner. And by that evening, he had locked her in the um, dwelling, the house, and he had raped her. And she, in an attempt to leave the dwelling, the house, she had taken a knife to try and jimmy open the door. And the two had then battled over the knife, and she had... Um, she had stabbed him during that battle for that knife. The Palm Ridge mother was arrested and has been in jail ever since being convicted and subsequently sentenced to 10 years imprisonment from that fateful night. It is Carl's contention that the magistrate did not give enough weight to the Palm Ridge mother's personal circumstances in sentencing her to 10 years imprisonment. Our argument is that the court failed to consider the overwhelming evidence of domestic violence in this um, in this whole incident and the the previous history of domestic violence so not only did we have the evidence from the the mother the palm Ridge mother our clients we also had expert evidence who ca um, a psychologist who came to speak about the experience of women who kill their abusive partners we also had uh, affidavits from family members and neighbours who attested to her experience of domestic violence, prolonged, severe domestic violence. Unfortunately, what the court did is it seemed to just sever that entire history, an entire context, and treat this very much as a murder case. In addition to this appeal, what will follow is a constitutional challenge which, if successful, will pave the way to make it mandatory for presiding officers to consider a history of abuse when determining these kinds of cases. We want there to be a, a mandatory, so we want the judiciary to be forced, mandated, to consider history of domestic violence in their sentencing. The appeal in this significant matter, which still has years ahead of it till it reaches the doors of the Constitutional Court, was postponed in the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court to December. Kani Mapanga, SABC News, Johannesburg.